Hey guys, welcome back. Real quick, I just want to say something. In the wake of Elon Musk's purchase of Twitter, I just want to caution you against something because a lot of people look at this man like he's some kind of hero. Honestly, it's almost like some kind of worship they have for him. And I just see red flags. If you think for one second that the purchase and acquisition of Twitter was about free speech, you are completely wrong, I believe. You're thinking of it in a naive way. I've never been a part of Twitter. I don't tweet. Um, that's just a personal choice for me. And if you're a part of it, then to each their own. But if you're going to hop on Twitter now because you think it's going to be a safe space, um, I just caution you against it. So if you think that a billionaire like Elon Musk uh, has your best, best interest uh, at heart, then that's just like saying that Billy Goats is really interested in climate change and population control and um, the preventative measures for health risks, if you know where I'm going. Um, he's a billionaire, but he's donating all this money because he really cares about people and the climate and all this, and it has no financial gain for him. Right. No, billionaires just want more money and more power because once you get a certain amount of money, you just want more. You're never satisfied. They want more money and more power. So Elon Musk is no different. What he did by purchasing Twitter was he bought your data. He bought your experiences. He bought your opinions. He bought human creativity, thought processes, um, speech patterns. He bought a bunch of data that he could therefore use towards his other love affair, which is AI. So what does AI need in order to be successful? It needs data, it needs human data, it needs facts, it needs information. How much information is held in Twitter with millions and millions, maybe billions of users, all sorts of data. Um, and not just, you know, facts and history, but human thought processes and inflections and tones and just all those very, very human traits that I personally, and it sounds like a conspiracy theory, but I personally think he needs all that data and that's what he bought so that he can create a more human-like AI robot. It sounds totally crazy. But I think it is very, very realistic, actually, to think that they will create AI robots to take the place of humans because, um, what's his name? Yuval Harari, he's already said that humans are now hackable animals. Um, he thinks very little of the human race. And a lot of those elites honestly believe that we are all just excess. They don't need us. We are just... Um, Useless feeders, is that what it is? Useless eaters? Um, they don't need us. They can print money into oblivion. They can make AI robots to take the place of humans. And then, guess what? They won't have the overpopulation problem. They won't have the CO2 problems because we're the ones creating the CO2. So if they can just let us all die off, kill each other, and then replace the essential workers with AI robots. The whole thing with, um, during the coffee cough of sorting out who's an essential worker and who's not, it's curious, huh? Because now they know who they need and who they don't need um, to allow society to continue to run in a productive manner and get rid of a bunch of people. Take them off the market, take them, take them out, stay home, you know, go play your video games all day. We don't need you. Or just die because it seems that we are being poisoned on a daily basis. But anyway, that's what I think the whole Twitter thing is about. Somebody does not spend billions of dollars to acquire something just to promote free speech. I promise you that he will get a return on his investment. It's a data mining process and he will have a whole bunch of data on you and millions of other people and he will be able to use that for something. I think it's for the AI. 
Um, so tell me what you think about that in the comment section down below. Um, it's, yes, it's out there. It's conspiratorial. But they are every day um, making advances in AI, uh, not just Elon Musk, but all, all sorts of companies, um, agencies, and even governments are working on it. And it's just interesting. Hopefully life doesn't turn into one of those sci-fi movies where the robots become sentient and they take over the world and want to kill humans because we are all just leeches on the earth. Anyway guys, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll see you later.